What's up guys, Tardy Sloth here with a rare vlog for you guys. Um, this is kind of like a here's what's going to happen with the channel kind of video. Um, I'm looking it up right now so I can bring you the information but uh, I found out last night um, I have been under review for monetization on YouTube for about a week now and um, I've been awaiting their decision um, never really mattered to me I mean it did I, I, I care how many people watch my videos I care about the people that leave comments I care about you know the success or or lack of success on my channel and um, but I've always been, I've always wanted to do this just for fun. It, it was never really, like, I'm not planning on making this a full-time job or anything like that. I just, I just want to play games and, and record and make videos and stuff like that. You know, I just, I thought that was, I think that's a lot of fun and that's what I want to do. Um, now, last night I, I was looking at, to see, I, I checked to see if they had come to a, a a result or not if they had agreed that yes you can be monetized or no you can't uh, and why and, and everything like that and it still had said that it was not enabled so I went into it further and I looked in the monetization and it says the the rules have changed now the criteria for being monetized on YouTube and I'm sure everybody knows about this already this is a big thing that's come out recently um, a big news story that's come out recently about YouTube's uh, monetization preferences, and and I guess the goal is to weed out the people who don't, I guess the people who don't care enough to make quality content, the people who don't uh, care to make this. Um, I don't know, I don't want to necessarily say a full time gig, but the people who don't necessarily care enough to make decent quality videos, and just to weed out the little guys and and while I, I kind of agree with that to a certain extent, um, I guess you got to be a little bit stronger than that to stick around when you know you're not getting paid for it. And this is never really, like I said before, it's not a job to me. It's just, it's something I do for fun. And when it stops being fun is when I stop doing it. I'm always going to like video games. I'm always going to enjoy playing video games. And I enjoy showing off how crappy I am at video games. So I've got no problem with it. Um, some people would be upset about it. Some people who have already been monetized and now because of this new criteria, and I'll read it to you in a minute, have been demonetized and all of their videos demonetized. I think that kind of sucks. I think there should become some kind of grandfather clause in there that allows these people who are already monetized because they already reached that criteria to not be set back again and have to earn a whole new set of, um, a whole new set of, of rules that they have to follow or, or things that they have to achieve in order to get to that point. I think that's kind of messed up. That's a little bit messed up in my opinion. Um, but I'm not a big YouTuber, so I don't really know. I wouldn't even call myself a YouTuber. I'm just a dude who has a channel on YouTube that plays video games. Um, so here's what it says. The, to apply for monetization, you have to accept the YouTube partner program terms and you know an agreement, which everyone does when they start a YouTube channel. You have to have an AdSense account which most people who plan on trying to make money, uh, at least eventually, have, uh, which I do have. Your monetization preferences have to be set. So you have to set preferences for your monetization on all your videos uh, and your channel. And all existing and future videos will be monetized um, upon your channel's approval. Okay, so These are just your preferences you choose. Um, so I've done that. The last, The fourth and last thing you have to do Originally, what it was, was you had to have 50 subscribers, uh, and you had to have, um, I think it was 10,000 total views on your videos, uh, which doesn't sound like a lot. Um, for someone as small as I am, it's taken me almost a year to get to that point, to have 10,000 total views, believe it or not. I get probably roughly in the teens, like 15 to 20 to 30 views per video, just depends on what I do. Some videos are more popular than others. Um, 
and for reasons unknown. <laughs> uh, but one video in particular that I have on my channel um, took up the remainder and got me over that 10,000 hump. And it was kind of surprising to me because when I did the video initially, and it's the it's the PUBG video that was played on a Q6 with a Q6600 processor, an old Intel Q6600 and a GTX 650. Why that video was so popular, I have no idea. Um, there was no audio in the video. I didn't speak at all. It was just gameplay. It was just to see, to, to show people, hey, you still can play PUBG if you have this older budget system. Uh, or It's about a 10-year-old chipset as far as I know. And that 650 is not that quite that old. But it's it's pretty old and it's, it's pretty ancient. Um, but I came across this stuff fairly inexpensively, fairly cheaply. And... Um, at the time was forced to try to game on this kind of stuff. And at the time I could not make any videos regarding any of this stuff until I found this GTX 650. That, that literally was the point that got me over the hump to say, okay, your, your system is able to at least record these videos. Um, so I recorded that video and it was a, can you, it was basically a, Hey, PUBG with a Q6600 and a 650 G, a GTX 650, can you play it or should you even try? And the main message in that video towards the end was, no, you probably shouldn't because it looks like crap. And it plays like crap. And you, you get dropped frames and stuttering and screen tearing. And it's just terrible. It was terrible. I mean, we, we were in like, some at some points it was in like nine i was getting like 9 to 10 fps you know frames per second 10 to 12 something like that uh, to the point where you would drop down into the town and when you hit the ground it would take roughly about a minute to a minute and a half for even the buildings to render in it was that bad and for something that crazy to get and i think it's actually over 11,000 views right now is, is insane. It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand. And le and the only thing I can think of, the only thing I can think of, is that a lot of people out there have this kind of a system, and are itching to play that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it was bad. But that one got me over that ten thousand hump, and I was so excited. I was like, oh, oh crap! I'm gonna get reviewed to get monetized. And this was about a week and a half ago, and I had been checking it every every day. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've been checking it every day excited to become monetized and and that would mean that all of my videos uh past and future would be monetized and i was i would be able to start uh you know producing revenue from those videos and it just turns out that that's not the case because while i was being reviewed this rule changed it says now to get reviewed you have to reach 4000 watch hours in the previous 12 months so i have to have 4000 hours watched on my channel in a in a 12 month period um so i don't think it's not a calendar year it's just the previous 12 months so every month you're gonna you know that last month is gonna drop off um and that's a problem for me i, I get i get some I, I don't get a whole lot of views on my channel and like i said i, I do this for free so it, it, it really doesn't bother me that much but I don't get a lot of views on my channel and I don't get a lot of time watched on my channel. My my average views per video honestly is like two minutes. Most people get about two minutes into my videos and click it off. There are some that, you know, are friends of mine that will watch the whole thing, you know, whatever. But um, that average is, is under two minutes the last time I checked. Um, so yeah, that's going to be, my watch hours in the last 12 months is 194, and you need 4,000 for 4,000 watch hours to be reviewed. So I, I've come to the conclusion that this ain't going to happen, not anytime soon anyway. Uh, and I'm not begging for subscriptions, I'm not begging you to watch my videos, I'm not going to do, you know, like some people I know, and go to... A, your local Best Buy or Walmart and set all the tablets to your YouTube channel and just hit play. I know of people that have done that before. There's nothing wrong with that. Whatever. More power to them. If it gets the views, it gets the views, right? Um, but I see a lot more people doing stuff like that now because of this. Uh, and a thousand subscribers. 
it took me a year to get to 50. Now, granted, most of these, almost all of these are organic subscribers, and that's great. That's fantastic. People that actually enjoy my content and are not just family members or friends, that's fantastic, and I love that. But getting to 1,000 is going to be, it's going to be a chore. And so what I've decided, what I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to do is I'm not going to take my channel down. Now, some of you thought that I was going to say, I'm going to take my channel down. I'm just going to not do it anymore. Uh, screw this. This is stupid. Why keep going? I keep going because I enjoy it. Plain and simple. I enjoy what I do. I like making videos for you guys. A, a part of it is kind of like therapy for me. It's a way for me to be able to play my game, have a lot of fun, record it, be goofy when I, you know, <laughs> with the audio and with the dialogue and stuff like that. And and do what I like to do. So, no, nothing's going to change. I'm still... There's something in my glasses. I don't know what it is bothering the crap out of me. Nothing really is going to change um, per se. The only thing that's going to change is for the better. And the change that comes with this is I'm I'm not placating people anymore. I'm, I'm done being... And I'm not, I don't want to say fake because I'm not fake. Um, you know, the way that I talk in my videos is not fake. That's who I am. Uh, but for the most part, it's, it's, a, it's a dulled tardy sloth. It's a dumbed down tardy sloth. It's a family friendly tardy sloth. I'm not necessarily so family friendly in my real life. Um, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this channel going. And I'm going to continue to make videos. I'm going to continue to try to stream a little bit more. Most of the stuff I stream, like I said before, is going to be like uh, mobile games like WWE Supercard and things like that. Um, I'm going to continue to stream. I'm going to continue to record videos. They're going to continue to be family friendly. The only thing that comes with this is I've created a secondary channel. And it's going to be called Tardy Sloth Unleashed. And this is the channel where I can truly be myself. Uh, this is not going to be family friendly. Uh, there will be f bombs and and cursing and things like that. Uh, there will be more adult themed games, um, not in a sense like that, but in a sense of like I want to play more bloody brutal games. The kind of stuff that I like. I like hack and slash. I like Diablo. I like Gears of War. I like stuff like that, I, and I want to play stuff like that. But I kind of reserve myself for my channel. To keep it as family friendly as possible. That's why I say things like "what the heck" um, or "what the crap" and things like that. And it just instead of saying, you know, "WTF," and I don't want to say it here because this is going up on the normal channel. But I think that's the direction that I want to go. I want to. I want to. I'm going to open up the new channel. I've already created it. Uh, I've already worked on a logo and everything for it. We. It's already up. It's ready to go. You guys go subscribe to it if you want to. There's nothing up yet. There's no videos yet, but I'm going to work on that here in a few minutes. Actually, when I get done with this video, I'm going to start playing some games. And and uh, we're going to record some videos, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's going to go up on there. But if you if you want to see a more ruthless adult Tardy Sloth, head over to Tardy Sloth Unleashed. Go and subscribe. Let me know that you came from the, nor the, the main channel. Um... And just let me know who's out there that's that's paying attention and that's watching this. So this channel is going to continue. Um, it has been kind of sporadic and few and far between with the videos. Uh, but that's just because my schedule is insane at work. So uh, it's, it's overnight one week and daytime the next week. And I just don't know when I'm going to have the time to do videos. So I apologize if I'm shaking the camera. Uh, so yeah, this, get, this, this is getting a little long. I'm going to end it right there. If you guys want to go check out the new channel... Uh, I'll put links in the description uh, or I'll put a card up there in the, the corner somewhere uh, to link you to the channel and uh, go over there make some noise let me know uh, you know that you're here from the main channel and we'll start making some videos uh, some fun videos and you guys let me know what you want me to play maybe there's a kind of a, a, a bloody brutal game or something like that like a hack and slash game or something like that that you think is is going to be good for that kind of environment that kind of channel and um yeah, I'll see you guys later, and I'll see you guys on the other channel on Tardy Sloth Unleashed. Bye.